So hello friends, today we're going to repair this interesting lens. It is an EL Nikkor 15mm f2.8. Uh, this lens uh, was originally made uh, for enlargers, but then um, yeah, an enlarger, if you don't know what it is, is uh, what is used to project negative, um, I'm talking about film, into um, the photosensitive paper which is used to make the photography. Uh, and then uh, these lenses uh, have a very 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 good quality I have a red done video about uh, adapting this into uh, actually DSL, DSLR camera and then the results are really good okay just stop the talking uh, what is the problem of this lens so as you will see if I get it here really close not that close you see the lens is full of fungus so which is a pity but then it also allowed me to get the lens like for uh, if I remember properly I pay less than uh, ten dollars okay so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to open this lens and we don't need we don't need uh, a lot of tools we just need the rubber cones just to get the job done and forget about the screws here on the body and and they led to nowhere I already tried that so uh, same thing here with these screws on the back and don't uh, take the wrong uh, the wrong route uh, the this assembly is actually very 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 simple so I'm going to start from the back and then what I need to do is just to unscrew this Obviously, I disassembled the lens before, so this is why the uh, unscrewing is rather easy. The first time is going to take some energy and some force, so be careful with that. But this is it. I have already removed the back, and then here, as you can see, uh, the fungus is inside. So what I need to do now is to uh, remove this ring here, which is going to allow me to reach the lens so, and to do so you can use a spanner I have here a compass which is also suitable for doing the job uh, if I get the right distance between the legs uh, and then uh, yeah as you can see here I just need to rotate Again, uh, other thing you need to pay attention is I already uh, got this loose, so the first time you need to pay a lot of attention because it's not easy to to get loose. And then uh, the usual risk of uh, using a compass or a spanner is that uh, the thing slips, so you have uh, slip in here, and then you get into the lens, and then you scratch it. So pay attention to that, but then uh, once you get it loose, you can um, continue the um, unscrewing uh, by hand. And then here, you see, I got it, and then here I can reach the back of this lens, which is full of fungus. Okay, I'm not going to do the clean immediately, so I'm going to keep this aside. Uh, So now I'm going to take care of the front and then here the front uh, there is a few things you need to be uh, well you need to pay attention you don't even need to be careful this front element here you can remove it entirely and then you can remove the the plate so uh, the usual thing you will do is to remove the plate before here Remove this plate, and then um, yeah, well, use the actual the rubber cone, and then uh, you apply torque, and then you take out the first that comes first. So in this case, um, I get the front element here. So and then here you have the body of the lens, which we're going just to to clean a bit. 
but then otherwise it seems uh, it seems in good condition so I removed here this lens so I can uh, remove this element here just to do the cleaning but then that will help me obviously to remove uh, the fungus here on the back which you know what is this is the location where there is the most fungus and then here obviously I can see some fungus inside and then to remove that I need to take the identification plate here which I'm moving now yeah you can see that I'm moving it and then here I will have a bit of trouble taking it out because the rim here is a bit deformed so it's going to force a bit obviously if the rim of your lens is uh, yeah, very round and uh, you don't have uh, you won't have any trouble removing this element here okay you see here I am struggling a bit Okay, and then I pass the point where is the form, and then yes, it comes out. Very important to take it out because uh, the next thing uh, you can do here, uh, even you see here, there is two openings here to pass uh, a spanner just to remove the lens from here in case uh, you haven't removed it yet. Um, okay, so this is it, and then just to finish, I have uh, still one ring that I need to rotate with my uh, compass here. Just let me open the compass just a bit because I don't want I don't want it sleeping and then uh, yeah, damaging the lens. Okay. Ah. Okay, I can use my rubber cones. This is always the safest way to work. And then here I get the ring. And then I reach this middle element. Well, the first element, the back of the first element, which has also a lot of fungus. So, and uh, this is it for the disassembly. As you saw, it is extremely, extremely simple to do. So, uh, what I'm going to do now, just let me put this thing in here. I'm just going to grab my clean stuff, and then uh, we're going to eliminate all those fungus. So, see you in a few seconds. So hello friends, I am back for the cleaning and then I got my cleaning stuff. Uh, it is the usual things, so optical cleaning paper um, and then as I always say, take uh, the best quality one and uh, the difference in price is not very big. So and then uh, you take no risk by taking good quality one. Um, I have this mixture here which I put in this small bottle written lens cleaner uh, what is that old thing is isopropyl alcohol uh, mix it with uh, distillated water and then uh, hydrogen peroxide uh, proportions proportion just let me think so I have uh, if I remember correctly uh, 4% hydrogen peroxide 70% um, water and then 30% uh, isopropyl alcohol but I'm not 100% sure uh, okay and just probably check uh, one of my other videos because just right now I have a, a gap uh, okay so this is for the cleaning this thing works really 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 good uh, against fungus and then uh, just for finishing and um, to get uh, nice and shiny, shiny lenses I have this optical clean 
fluid. Here, nice. Okay, optical cleaning fluid, uh, and then uh, that's pretty much it. So for the cleaning, uh, we can start with the back element here, and then I have one additional element that I haven't showed to you. Is just this small thing, just to handle the lenses. It's very very handy. So here you get it. Put the lens here. And then since we are in the step of just removing the fungus, I don't care much about the lens, so this is what I do. I pass the mixture with my finger and then uh, the result of using this mixture of alcohol and water and hydrogen peroxide. Is that fungus uh, disappear almost immediately I have also a microfiber cloth just to um, dry the lens because usually uh, what happens is that the, the optical cleaning paper gets wet really quick and then it becomes useless Okay, so uh, as far as I can see, uh, fungus here are gone. So we need to proceed now. Uh, I'm going to keep the lens here ready. So this is the first step. So I forgot to show you before. Here, um, the back, there is this small ring here, and then I can remove. Come on. This, this thing is not very strong, it's just to handle the lens. Uh, uh, okay, so I have this here, and then uh, this face here has a lot of fungus. So I'm going to proceed as before. I just add a drop of my mis mixture. Then I rub that. And then the result of this is almost immediate is that the fungus uh, is gone so I try I clean on the back which my cloth which is still a bit humid and then uh, this element here uh, we can say uh, is now fungus free so what we're going to do now is to uh, pass uh, for final cleaning and we're going to reassemble this element here and then we can proceed for the rest so uh, what I'm going to do now is just to use the optical cleaning fluid here and then with the paper and then something to push the paper which I need to grab from my box uh, okay you can put it you can push it also with uh, with your finger but then at some point it becomes difficult so what I like to do is to have just uh, a cup I have this, this is called a lens, lens pan it's just to clean lenses but then the, the only thing uh, I use it is, is just to have uh, because of this cup that I can push the paper around nicely and then go around the whole surface okay and then uh, this element here 
should be really really clean now and then I can proceed to the reassembly of this part of the lens okay so what I'm going to do is just I'm going to repeat this process for all the all the elements of the lens and then uh, we meet again just for the uh, reassembly of the lens so see you in a few seconds so hello friends I am back I am finished with the cleaning I already pre-assembled the two optical assemblies that I have here we're going to finish the reassembly of the lens that's going to be extremely fast so here we put the back of the lens uh, we just need to screw I just need to get in the proper thread so here I am now I will install the front so I put it in I use my rubber cones so last thing remaining to be assembly is the identification ring which I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put it calmly just after the end of the video because as I told you before I have some deform deformation here though so this is not going to be easy but then in the meantime and show you the result of the cleaning you see in comparison to what we had in the beginning the lens is in very very good condition so uh, I'm going to show you some images taken with the lens once clean it so you get an idea of the quality of the lens and then um, yeah so that's all Thanks for watching my video and uh, don't forget to subscribe and then see you in, in a very near future. Bye.